So you're probably wondering how I got myself in such a precarious situation. It was a beautiful sunny May day at the Priestley Forsyth Memorial Library in Northumberland. And you know, I was exploring the library as I do, and I stumbled upon this strange bag from the Bloomsburg Children's Museum. So then I had this whole inner monologue with myself. Like, do I open it? Do I not open it? Yeah, you know what? I'll think I open it. So I opened it. And I threw the instructions away right away because um, nobody needs those. They're not fun or exciting. But then I found this cool balloon, some pom-poms. Look at that balloon, man. Um, this cup, I tried to drink out of it. There's a hole in the bottom. That's not gonna work. So I'm not really sure what to do with these items and am i supposed to use them together how do they work together these don't seem like they should work together at all uh maybe i launched the balloon no uh this oh uh, this you don't have to watch this part actually you can just turn the video off right now you're still watching so that was a massive fail uh like the sign says first attempt in learning certainly was a first attempt. We're smarter than that now. We're learning from our mistakes. We're gonna read the instructions. Let's read them together so you guys don't make the same mistakes that I did. So let's take a gander first at the materials list. It says we need for our pom-pom pupper one plastic or paper cup. There's a paper cup in the bag. We need one balloon also in the bag and some pom-poms. There's two of those in the bag not included in the bag however are a pair of scissors so make sure you have some of those at home to use uh, you're also probably going to want some materials to decorate your cup so i have mr sketch scented markers our instructions say to cut a hole in the bottom of the cup so get an adult and ask them if they could cut a hole using a box cutter or a pair of scissors now on to step two which is grab that balloon and tie the end of it so if you've ever tied a balloon before you're going to wrap it around two of your fingers like so. Then you're going to tuck that end right underneath the piece that's wrapped around your fingers and pull it through, pull it tight, kind of give it a stretch to make sure it's tight. And then you should be good to go. Uh, then we're going to turn it around. Look at the other end of the balloon. Going to grab our trusty scissors and snip that end right off. Be very careful with this part, maybe get a grown-up to help you. Then you should have an open end on that balloon, perfect for stretching over the end of your cup, which is exactly what you're going to do next. So grab that cup, make sure the smaller end is facing up, and then you are going to stretch that balloon right over top of the cup. Then I'm going to grab some tape and make sure that balloon isn't going anywhere. Um, that's not included in the instructions or in your kit. This is just an extra step that I'm doing to make sure that balloon stays put. You might want to try it out as well. Once I have this thing completely built, I'm good to go and grab my Mr. Sketch markers and begin decorating the outside of the cup. So here we go. I think I'm going to put on some apples if you do the reading that's inside the kit. You'll read about Sir Isaac Newton and some of his laws of physics, which we'll probably preview here after I show you the tutorial. So once we learn a little bit about him and his laws of physics, this will make a lot more sense. So got the apples on, good to go. And now I'm going to take a look at the rest of the papers in this kit. There is a scientific explanation at the bottom of the paper. This paper explains Sir Isaac Newton's three laws of motion. The first law states that an object will remain at rest until a force is placed on it. The pom-pom isn't launching by itself, so we need to create a force. That force comes from that balloon that we put on the bottom of our cup. The second law of motion says that a mass, like our pom-pom, will accelerate when a force is placed on it. Here, the force is the balloon being pulled back and then released. Testing different objects of different weights might result in different acceleration rates. So if you didn't just use a pom-pom and you use something heavier, like a marble, maybe it would move faster or slower. 
maybe it wouldn't launch quite as far. The third law of motion tells us that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The force created by the stretch balloon pushes the object away. The force pushing the ball out is equal to the force pushing the ball back. Forces are found in pairs. The balloon and the pom-pom are the pairs here. Also included in your kit is a worksheet to fill out before, during, and after your experiment with a pom-pom popper. The first side of the worksheet has the word prediction on it, and it's asking you to write what you think will happen when you pull the end, the balloon, of your popper. Hmm, do you think that those pom-poms will stay in the cup? Or do you think they'll fly out? Will they launch? How far will they go? Hmm, think about it and write it down on that piece of paper under the word prediction. So I'm gonna do that now. After you've done that, go ahead and launch your pom-pom popper, see what happens, and then record what happens on the other side of that worksheet where it says observation and explanation. After you've done all the hard part of this experiment, go ahead and reward yourself with a word search and a cute little coloring page of Sir Isaac Newton, that guy who came up with the three laws of motion that we learned about with these pom-pom poppers. So if these kits seem fun to you, come on in and grab one at the Priestley Foresight Memorial Library today. We have 40 of them and we'll get 40 more next month, but it will be a little bit different. We have this little paper here with the schedule and it looks like June we're going to be getting a sundial kit. So if this seems interesting to you, make sure you stop by every month to pick up one of these Bloomsburg Children's Museum kits from the library. See you later.